Hi there, Bruce the Water Guy here. Today I'd like to talk about biosolids. I'm standing on top of my biosolid storage tanks, which holds up to 1 million gallons. What are biosolids? Well, they're a byproduct of the wastewater treatment process. All of the solids and uh, some of the nutrients that are in the system, you don't want to release that into the environment. So we remove that from the wastewater treatment system, sending it through the digesters, uh, resulting in a highly treated product, which we call biosolids, which is rich in nutrients like nitrogen and phosphorus and micronutrients, such as copper and zinc. And all of these are very good for the soil. So part of the beneficial reuse program, we take and land apply these biosolids out to farm fields to return the nutrients to the soil, resulting in a reduction of chemical fertilizer application. Let's take a closer look at this process. So we use the tractor as the powering device to a Hooli pump, which is basically a manure pump, which we set down into this tank. Uh, the tank is about 12 foot deep where the pump is, and then another two foot deep sump pit that we try to sink that into to remove the solids completely. And when we're talking solids here, this is about an 8% thick uh, liquid, which is the consistency of a thick pudding. The pump is mixing the solids in the tank to keep a more consistent product so it is easier to pump out. We then use the Hooli pump to fill an 11,000 gallon tanker with the biosolids liquid which will then take out to the land application site. Let's take a quick drive out to one of the land application sites and see this actually in progress. Um, before we go out there, let me talk real briefly about the biosolids themselves. There are two different types of biosolids, a Class A and a Class B product. The Class B is a liquid land application, which is a subsurface injection process. Uh, two reasons for this. To meet Class B, we have to have a pathogen reduction and a vector attraction reduction. The pathogens. Pathogens are disease-causing microorganisms. We reduce that through the treatment process in the digesters, where the solids are kept at a 98 degrees and the microorganisms uh, reduce the amount of solids by about 50%, really only producing the solids, uh, carbon dioxide, and methane gas and water vapor. Uh, the end product means that it has much less um, very low levels of fecal coliforms or E. coli uh, so that what goes onto the field does not cause any sort of contamination. And then the vector attraction reduction. Well, a vector would be an animal or uh, a human who would go out and come in contact with the biosolids or the food product itself and then go and contaminate a human. So from one point to another. Uh, the subsurface injection is the method that reduces the vector attraction uh, reduction so that uh, it is injected under the surface with uh, a knifed in so it's like six inches below or so and we shouldn't see any pooling on top. Uh, this keeps the nutrients in the soil where they need to be and nothing will track that through. And uh, also the crops that are grown on these fields where biosolids are applied are for uh, feed crops only. There are no direct human consumption crops that are allowed to be planted on Class B biosolids fields. Again, removing the humans one more step out of that chain uh, to protect the health and uh, keep, again, the beneficial reuse of these nutrients back into the environment, recycling them so that we can reduce the usage of chemical fertilizers. So here we are in the field now where they're uh, using a terrigator to subsurface inject the biosolids into the field, uh, which you can see behind me, a bunch of the tine rows and everything. And as you can see, there are no biosolids visible at all. And in fact, the only thing that I can smell is the fresh soil. So this is a much cleaner and nicer application than a raw manure that is spread on the surface, which potentially has runoff from rain and uh, goes into ditches and can contaminate the surface water in the area. With this Class B biosolids, we're not contaminating anything uh, with surface runoff. We're just trying to put the nutrients back into the soil and keep them in place for the plants to utilize. Let's get a closer look at that terrigator as they're injecting the biosolids. 
As the interrogator goes through the field, it has to go a very specific speed so that it will only apply the correct amount of tons per acre of biosolids, matching the nitrogen content to the subsequent crop to be grown. So again, the biosolids are a byproduct of the wastewater treatment process. We're basically just trying to take the nutrients that you and I put into the wastewater when we use and abuse the water and recycle them back into the environment for a beneficial reuse by reducing the amount of chemical fertilizers that are applied to the land, which again can potentially run off with surface runoff and rain and uh, contaminate ditches and local surface waters. Well, I hope you enjoyed taking a closer look at biosolids, land application, and uh, recycling of the nutrients back into the environment. Uh, hey, please don't forget to uh, share or like the video and uh, check out some of my older videos uh, and see the different interesting ways in which we protect the water environment. This is Bruce the Water Guy. Have a good day.